How's it going friends? We're going to go ahead and review Opera Internet Browser, which we're using it right now. And let's go ahead and see what PC Magazine had to say about this browser. They say it has minimal interface. It has a turbo feature, which uh, makes slow connections even faster by compressing the actual web pages, making them smaller, and that way it, it actually makes it faster, which is pretty cool. This is the first browser I've seen that does that. It has built-in mail and BitTorrent clients, which is really helpful nowadays for all of us that download BitTorrents and it's excellent HTML5 support which HTML5 is pretty new so it's pretty modernized so that's good and it, it syncs bookmarks settings passwords history and all that and it, they do have it for Mac and Linux it has extensions and live tiles on start page and it has themes also they say th the cons are that occasionally sites won't display properly but they say this is rare now and hardware acceleration is not enabled by default Bottom line is operate as a worthy web browser, alternative offering unique features, good performance, and HTML5 support, like I said. So that's what PC Magazine is saying. They're reviewing it pretty good. You know, it uh, looks like three and a half stars, which the rating means it's good. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We're actually using it right now. Um, you can turn that turbo boost, I mean, that, yeah, that Opera turbo boost on or off right here. Just click on the Opera button on the upper left-hand corner. You should be able to see Opera turbo right there. Right now I have it on. Click uncheck it, or you can go ahead and check it to turn it on. All right. When you go under settings right here, it'll take you to this page here. And if you're thinking how to zoom, I already looked, it, looked that up for you. You actually go to the settings and you go to display and here you have font size and page zoom that's where that's at and we can go ahead and look for extensions by go ahead and click on opera where was it uh, you go to settings I believe oh no here it is go to extensions and this is where you can see extensions and you can go ahead and click on browse the gallery to browse all the extension extensions that are available and here they are they have uh, Amazon translate QR LastPass they have quite a bit of them I haven't seen some of these before but there's eBay that's good that they have eBay AVG so they have a bunch here you can choose from if you want to add extensions to it and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it to the test let's go to YouTube real quick just to test it out I will post a link on the description of the video to download Opera. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, click on this Robin Williams video. Click to run Adobe Flash Player. Why doesn't it run automatically? Okay. All right. So it looks like it doesn't play the video automatically. You got to click on Run. YouTube works. Let's test out something else. Let's go to yahoo.com. Yahoo opens up. Let's go to msn.com. cnn.com. <coughs> Excuse me. American Dad Fighting for ISIS. I think I made a video on ISIS actually. Uh, that's something that could be, become really annoying with Opera. You actually have to click to run Adobe Flash Player every time you run a video. Hmm. That's not good. U.S. Coast Guard fires on Iranian boat. That's not good. All right. Video works. Everything works good. Let's just go around. See what's going on with tech news. Cool. Looks like Opera works pretty well. It's fast. It's got that turbo thing. I love that turbo. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to show you guys. There is privacy browsing. Let's go ahead and click on the Opera button. Click on new private window. And basically, you'll be able to do anything you want. And it says right here, entering private browsing. As soon as you close this tab, all the information connected with it will be erased. So they have a private tab, kind of like they do with Chrome. 
No, is it Firefox? I don't remember which one it was. Was it Firefox or Chrome? Let me know in the description of the video. Go ahead and comment there. It was one of those two that has private browsing too. I think it might have been Firefox actually. But it's got private browsing. And that's pretty much it. That's all that Opera does. There is themes also. There's other themes you can select. Right now, see, I have this one here with the grass. They also have this one with the ducks, with the mountains. And you can create your own theme too, it looks like. You can get more of them too. Cool. Look, they got all of these you can use. Not a bad, not a bad browser. I like it. It's pretty cool. If you like very fancy browsers, like to have good themes, I recommend this browser. Or if you have a really slow internet connection, this is the perfect browser for you because of the turbo function. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. The link is posted on the description of the video if you want to download Opera. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.